This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time to kick off the Super License events with the Willow Springs 20 Mile Challenge. Real fucking challenge here, guys. This is a race event held at over a distance of 20 miles, 32 kilometers, on the Willow Springs International Raceway's Big Willow Track. The final standings will be decided based on who crosses the finish line in first place after the target distance is reached. Who will have the last laugh here? I'm sorry, that's a really shitty description, but whatever. Basically, it's all sport cars, like sports cars and shit, like the GTR Black Edition, the Veyron, the Corvette. We're using our prize car for this one. I'm going to be using the... Where is it? It's somewhere around here. The 2007 Light Car Company Rocket. Also, Soul on Display plays during the Super License, which is pretty damn cool. Yes, the sand will have the last laugh. <laughs> I like how you put the heart next to the washing machine. Bro, who doesn't love the washing machine? Come on. There's two Veyrons. There's a F-Porn. Uh, Pagani. Okay. About what I expect. Also, the nice part about these is that you start dead last. It's not really saying much, but... Still pretty cool. I'm gonna slap on the softs because the car is underpowered, but I do believe we will be able to win through strategy. I think because of the lack of horsepower, this car will basically sip fuel, and that's basically how we'll win. But 20 miles in Willow Springs is roughly 8 laps. I used the GSXR for the Polyphony Digital Cup in GT6, or GT5, I mean, so we already used that car. You hate that car? I like that car. I just, it goes back to what I was saying about sport, about people using the KTM or one car only, which is understandable because competition, but like, I want that variety, you know? We'll do chase cam first. And then cockpit in and every other cam. There's eight laps here. Okay, this car handles way better than the seven Fireblade, first and foremost. Then again, we're not driving in the rain. Four hundred fifty PP races. Yeah, I mean that's why. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, because the car was super light and shit. It's just broken. It's almost impossible to balance out road racing or road car racing perfectly. Nearly impossible to do it. Wang 2. Yep. Downforce. So as you can tell, obviously there's fuel wear, there's tire wear and shit in these races because it's supposed to be endurances. The top speed's really low on this car, but... Like I said, strategy. And also, we only really hit the top speed in 30% of the track overall. Dude, this car is really fun. I've never driven it before. This is actually a really fun car. I'm, I'm digging this so far. It would have been more wise to use this car at Ascari, but I really like this. So I got it. It's um, I'll do two laps in the chase cam. I'll do three laps in the hood cam, and then th the final three in the cockpit. Suzuki East was a nightmare. Oh yeah, this will be a lot shorter than I'm anticipating, Francisco. I said four and a half hours, but not counting coffee breaks and not counting the final missions. But yeah, some of these challenges are not going to be 30 minutes. I was just kind of going off just guesstimating 30 minutes in general. S2. What, what S2K were you using? Just standard or were you using one of the tuner models? Shy of two hours? Somewhere around there. Well, I mean, I would probably trust you on that because considering you're the old school GT player mainly. And you've played the PS3 era GT games way more than I probably have. So yeah, we're only three laps in. And we're not even three quarters of the way down on fuel. This car sips fuel compared to other ones. And um, yeah, I predict that... Oh my god, the Veyron and... Veyron's already there. Okay, cool. Very cool. Amuse Road S2000, gotcha. Dude, that's such a that is such a gorgeous car. 
Yeah, thank you, Arthur. I just remembered. Because I'd like to show off the different cameras. Yeah, this car sounds really cool, too. Does this thing have, like, a motorcycle engine or some shit? I know the Caterham 7 Fireblade does. It has, like, a Honda engine or some something, like, from a motorcycle. Not too much. Yeah, and not too much. Just a little bit of experience playing these games. Oh, whoops. That's why I gave her reading the chat. Want to become famous. The Veyron and the um, Pagani are in the pits. See, we're winning this on strategy. And then um, the tire wear is not... We have nine on the left rear. Weird champ. Tire wear with this car is almost a non-issue. Even with sports softs. We might feel it towards the end, but... We'll have a big enough lead with the strategy that it doesn't even matter. It's not even a strategy, it's literally just no stopping. A scar and a Mazda Demio? Nice. I would cons- wait, which Demio model? Because I used the 2010 Demio, or the whatever modern Demios in this game. I already used it for the Compact Car series. I would consider doing something dumb like that, but there's one particular car, road car-wise, that I love, and I haven't shown any love to it in GT5 or 6. I was going to use it for the Nurburg 4 hours in GT5, but given the fact that I was racing with Marvin and Mikhail at, at a friend's house, and both of them don't play 5, I used the HKS CT 230R because it was an easy choice for, for the two non-GT5 players to actually help me win the race. The old one? Ah. Very nice. Very nice. Also, how the fuck are we getting five? AI. That's right. GT6 slow boy AI. So I will say this right now. In terms of, like, doing a playthrough of the campaigns for Gran Turismo games, I'm not going to do sport. I, I will not do sport. Not at all. Because if the... At least this game has character still in terms of the career mode. Sport fucking doesn't. I, I, I refuse. Like, I tried doing... I, I, can, I tried it in the past and I got fucking bored quickly. Like, sport's not the game you want to play, you know, offline or do an LP for. I feel for Rhino. When Rhino gets the sport, dude, eventually when they... When, a, when PD officially calls it a day with the game... I'm gonna feel for him so bad, dude. I'm like, oh, you're gonna have to play this. And have fun. Oh, I was like, if you're reading the chat, oh no. Oh, actually, uh, we got super lucky there. It is, dude. If, if anyone thinks that this game has no character to it, like in terms of the career mode and the AI, then. Ooh, dude, this is like an old, like, I like the cockpit. It's like, it's supposed to be like an old school F1 cockpit, but it has like a, it has a modern dash. That's pretty sick. Anyways, um, if anyone thinks that 6's AI has no charisma to it whatsoever, Sport has, dude, Sport is like, it's a fucking zombie, dude. There's no life to the AI whatsoever, so like. And also the fact there's no prize cars too, like, give us something. Like, even if it's just shitty prizes like GT5, like, I wouldn't care. Give me an incentive to continue to play. This game at least gives you an incentive, and the incentive is old school GT feel, even though this game is inferior to all the other GTs in my opinion. And like, the, th the, the thousand car roster we have, you know what I mean? Like, the only re like, that's why GT6, even though this is my least favorite of the main series, it's still playable because like, I'm using the Rocket for this race. I use the Caterham 7 Fireblade and the Rainmasters. I use the Suzuki SX4 for the World Championship. Just dumb car combinations. When I eventually do the 24 minutes of Le Mans, if it's done today or next stream, whenever, you guys are in for a treat on that one. You guys are going to love it.
two laps to go. I don't know if our lead shrunk or if that's a back marker behind us. I can't tell. I guess we'll find out when we cross the line. Or actually, no. 20 seconds is the, the gap we had last time I checked. Again, I never played Prologue, so I wouldn't know Francisco. <laughs> yeah, I exactly. Pretty interesting. Yeah, standard racing, and it does have some interesting outcomes. GT6 is literally, yeah, half dead, half in range. Like, okay, the AI were clearly beefed up in the Red Bull challenges. They weren't difficult, but they clearly had some concept of, like, racecraft and some concept of speed. If the game had a little bit more of that... 28 seconds jesus christ if the game had a little bit more of that dude i wouldn't complain so much about gt6 but it's the fact that the ai are really slow in this game it's just like ugh. games are fucking chore to play i'm tired of playing it i'm not really tired of it right now like i'm the kind of person that if i'm not enjoying something fully then i'm not going to bother which is why i could never do an, uh, an offline lp of this game like like how Rhino used to do LPs, you know, before streaming was a thing. Like, imagine talking to myself playing this game. That that was basically me recording GT5 or GT6 videos when my internet was down. I felt awkward doing it, and thankfully it was only like 20 videos for that. It was mainly the IB license, but even then, I'm just like, ugh, dude. Chat basically makes this game fun. The part, the the voice chat last time around when we, we were reading the shitty ass Sonic fan fiction. That made the IA license so much more bearable because at least these events are short, whereas the IA license is just an hour of track day. Also, Jesus Christ, the Veyron is really bad around here. Pole sitters, and yet not not even close to being in the front. Big massive oof. Oh my God, yes. If the battle challenge was a thing in prologue, but. I will do a prologue eventually. I might I might just do a stream of it because I think Francisco, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't prologue just a list of events to do? Like, alright, this is the C level events where it's just like different races, and then these are the B level events, and these are the A level events, etc. Isn't it just literally like a big list of random race scenarios to do? Cause I think the real Emil tried to do that, but like he stopped LP in prologue because he's like, I can't. Hey, what's up, Hodge? Well, if you mod your, your PS3, which you can find tutorials on the internet for that. If you mod your PS3 and get the GT5 Master Mod, you can play online again for GT5. GT6 is Master Mod. The people who found it, I know they're working on it, but the land mode does not work. Three main licenses, extremely hard PP-derived races. Gotcha. Yeah, so I think if I played Prologue, it would just literally be like a stream session, just like just like any other non Gran Turismo game like Need for Speed and shit. I would just upload a VOD onto YouTube and that's it. 92% still, because it was literally one event. But that's our first event of the Super License. Conquered. Complete. 